Video guitar lessons right on your iPhone. It's free. The Guitar Song Lesson app from Center Stage. So in this song lesson, I'm going to show you some of the bass stuff from Black Sabbath's NIB. This was requested by a whole bunch of people on the site, so, um, and I understand why. Hey, it's a, it's a super awesome distorted heavy metal bass line with lots of riffs at the beginning. Um, as far as the beginning is concerned, the, the sort of riffing bass that comes in and out on the record and, um, and what that is, um, basically he's sort of jamming in E minor pentatonic. Uh, he's definitely got a super distorted sound. Um. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to teach you that verbatim. I mean, this is something you have to... You're going to have to sort of jam around with. But it's a great way to... I, I'll show you the scale that we're talking about, and it's a great way for you to explore, um, you know, coming up, coming, with, coming up with your own riffs or listening closely to the record and trying to pick out exactly what he's playing. He's sort of meandering about a little bit. It's not... Uh, I mean, it's cool, but it's not super structured or anything. So um, the notes he is using is the E minor pentatonic scale. And I'll show you generally where he's playing them. So we have the low E, of course. Then there's a G here. And then slide up for the A. And then we're going to use that box pattern that we've talked about before. A, B, D, and E. And then you can continue with the box pattern. There's a G, the A there. Then if we slide up, another two frets. just messing around with a lot of that stuff now there is one um particular thing and this is this is going to be part of the song as well so on the a right here there is a bend and you can because it's on the d string you can bend either up or bend down now this is part of the main riff So the whole song really, or at least a large part of the song, takes place right here using this box pattern. So this is a great song to really learn your E minor pentatonic and practice it a lot. Let's, let's take a look at the riff. Starts on a E to a D, back to the E again, and then we do G to an F sharp. This is part of the minor scale. This is definitely in pure minor. It's not in any other type of minor. And then we use that bend. So E, E, D, E, G, F sharp, and then again with now the bend riff. Now here's the fast lick. And it, it really, this is the box pattern. And it, it's, it, once you get, once you practice a little bit, it's really not that hard to learn. It, you can use hammer on. So I'm hitting the string here, I'm hitting the E, starting on the A note. And I'm hammering onto the B, then I'm hitting the A string, fretting on the D note, hammering on to the E again, and then hitting the D string on the G note once. So I'm going. It's just three hits on the strings. E, A, D. Those are the strings I'm hitting. 
but I'm combining it with a hammer on and that makes it go fast. And then it starts over again. This is a great riff to, to practice because this comes in handy all over all over the place. Okay, so, um, and that's really the main riff of the song, is those, the A and the B. This would be the A. And B. Now, there are some variations of that as we go throughout the song, but that's the basic part. Okay, so um, in the next section, sort of like uh, the, the uh, B section, or the build-up, um, we we do this thing and what we're doing here is we're going to we're going down the e minor scale and we're sort of making chords as we go down it's e d c and b okay Look at that again. And what I'm doing here is I'm I'm sort of I'm using my first and third finger and I'm making sort of covering the box pattern a little bit, but I'm I'm hitting the first, then here's the fifth and the octave. I'm I'm hitting both of these strings together. And I'm using hammer-ons. So I hit the E and then I go up to the next string, hammer on. Hit the top note, and that gives the sort of sound when he's. We've got the distortion turned on, and you sort of letting those notes ring a little bit. Um, they ring well together because this is just fifths and roots. And with the distortion and uh, stuff that. Uh, I think that sounds good. So that's the second part. Okay, so now there's the breakdown, and the breakdown sort of starts out kind of like the, the, the B section, but, but it stays on the E and plays that same rhythm. And then goes to a B. So it does that rhythm four, four times, I'm sorry, three times. go up to a C, back to a B, C again, and B, and we go back to the main riff. So again, the breakdown, where it's just the tambourine going.
weights an extra bar there. Back to the riff again. Now, um, the guitar solo uh, uses the same changes, the same chords as the B section. That. But then it just really sort of jams on those changes. You don't always have to play the octaves and stuff. They even have the breaks um, uh, during the solo. So really, all the solo parts are just the, those variations, but using the same chord changes. Uh, then it comes back again, of course, to the main riff. Um, now, the song's long, and there's the parts go together in a certain way, and uh, you should play along with YouTube video, which we'll have a link for, um, to learn the form and stuff. And, of course, the whole intro section... <laughs> Where he's just jamming on E pentatonic, um, playing along with that might be a little tricky, but um, certainly the riffs and stuff that he's playing can give you some ideas for learning how to play pentatonic stuff. Um, so there you go, NIB Black Sabbath, great bass, distorted bass, heavy metal line. Hi, I'm Ashley Shepard from Center Stage Bass Academy, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the site and what we do. Uh, we offer bass lessons online in the form of high quality videos using multiple camera angles so you can see exactly what I'm doing on the bass. And uh, we're designed for beginners um, all the way up into advanced students, but for the beginner, we start at the very beginning. If you've never held a bass before in your life, uh, well, this is a great place to start because we start at the very beginning from all the different parts of the bass and how to hold it um, and how to play in a very basic fashion all the way up to advanced techniques like uh, slap playing and uh, uh, you know advanced harmony and how to create bass lines uh, for, uh, for songs you might write yourself, but also how to improvise inside of ensembles that are playing um, other music. Here at Center Stage Bass Academy, I'm the only instructor, and uh, part of the advantage there is I'm going to give you a consistent approach to how to play the bass, and you're not getting a lot of different direction from a bunch of different instructors, but really one consistent approach uh, that, that I'll be guiding you through. Uh, I have a degree from Berklee College of Music, and that's where I went to school, so hopefully I'm, I'm bringing some of that education to, to the program here at Center Stage. To supplement all the lessons, we have a whole series of charts, including tablature, music charts, and neck charts to show uh, all of the scales and the songs that we're teaching you. We even include really high quality jam tracks where you can hear me playing bass with, a, with an ensemble like guitar and drums, and then you can play uh, by yourself to the same tracks without the bass. So you can still have a guitar and the drums, so you can play along with that and take all the theory and the scales and techniques that we teach you here and apply them to some real music. And that's very easy to do and all that stuff is available to you right here on the site. We've grouped all the lessons by volumes, which go in order, then also by your proficiency level, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. And then we also have a group for just songs by themselves, uh, just individual song lessons or by a certain skill type, like if you're learning how to do some slap techniques, you can look up just the slap technique videos. So we organize the lessons in four different ways to make it easier for you to find just the lesson that you want. Center Stage Bass Academy has been designed from the ground up just for bass. This is not just another guitar lesson website that has some bass lessons as an add-on. It's really been designed for you to become a good bass player. If you study all the lessons here and learn all the theory, you'll be able to walk into most situations and be able to play bass in a variety of musical styles and get the gig and enjoy playing the bass while you're at it. Um, so if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then uh, Center Stage Bass Academy is for you.